Hey there guys, I'm Rob. Thanks for tuning into the Rob's Knowledge YouTube channel and today we're going to show you guys how to change the flint in your Zippo. So what you're going to need for this is obviously a Zippo lighter that needs a new flint put in it and you're going to need some replacement flints. Now these I grabbed on Amazon for only $3 and it's a pack of six flints so it'll last you a very long time. I'll put a link to that down in the description down below if you want to grab that off of Amazon today. So. This is very simple. You're also going to need a penny or a screwdriver of some sort, but that is all you will need. So what we're going to do is you're just going to pull the Zippo insert out of the casing, just like so, and you're going to go ahead and flip it upside down. What we're going to be focused on is this little screw right here. That's where your penny is going to come into play, your penny or your screwdriver. Penny fits in the groove perfectly. So all you need to do is just break that loose if it's tight at all, and then you can probably just do the rest by hand. It's got little grooves on the side to help you grip it and this is under spring tension so just keep a little bit of downward force so it doesn't shoot out at you it shouldn't but see like that it kind of popped out a little bit and we're just going to pull that out like so and that is your sprint uh sorry your flint spring and just a little pusher rod and then if you have any leftover little fragments of flint in there just go ahead and give it a few taps on the table to get that out um, you can tell if there's any in there at the end if it's stuck because you can see right underneath the lighter wheel it's like empty but if there's like flint in there it'll look kind of like that something sticking out like the little flint but that's all cleared out so on to the next step we're going to go ahead and grab our flints that we got off of Amazon today and all you do is you just place, place a little rectangular opening downwards and you slide a flint inside of it and then you just rotate it whichever way this little wheel will let you rotate Sometimes it can be a little hard. I have big fingers. Oh, I was going the wrong way. That's why it didn't work. Okay, and then just once you rotate it out of there, I just like to put it upward so it doesn't fall out. And I just leave it right at the top there. I, w I don't, you don't even have to grab it with your fingers. It's just a little easier to guide it in if you leave it in there. So all you're going to do is just guide that little flint into the hole right there. Let me try to get this on camera for you guys good. So just like so. I don't know why my Alexa keeps going off. Sorry about that. And then after your flint is in there, just get your little flint pusher rod and spring and go ahead and slide that in there. And to get it started, you're probably going to have to use your finger to press it down in and just give it a slight turn. Make sure you're not th uh, cross threading the screws. But once you got it in there, you can finish it by hand as far as down as you can reach because the edge kind of impedes your grip a little bit at a certain point so just finish it off nice and snug with your penny just like that and you are now good to go just grab your case and slide the puppy in there just like so and as you can see we are now sparking it up and the first few sparks Maybe a little rough. You just kind of got to get the flint into the right like groove of your sparking wheel, just like so. And it's not lighting just because I don't have any fuel in there because I'm about to film a video on that as well. So that is how you replace the flint in your Zippo, guys. If this helps you out, please smack that thumbs up button. It helps me out so, so much. If you're not subscribed already, go ahead and you can click my logo on screen to subscribe, or you can check out some other related videos over that way. Thanks again for watching, guys. I appreciate it so much. Um, we just passed 5,000 subscribers. That is so crazy. Thanks again for watching. I will see you in the next video.